Hey, what's up folks? It's your girl, Ms. Billion Dollar Bailey. So welcome to the Billion Dollar Bailey Show. And um, I just wanted to do a really quick update on um, this here wig. Uh, so the wig that I'm wearing, you can check it out in another one of my YouTube videos and it's Natural State. And it is the uh, Cambodian 18 inch um, uh, wig. And I got it from uniwigs.com. I got this back in end of December, um, beginning of January. So, um, and I've actually made this. It is uh, 18 inches. I've made this my everyday go-to wig. Um, I'm, I'm kind of um, lazy. So, uh, did I just admit to being lazy on? Okay, whatever. Um, uh, so, I... I really don't have the time every day to go through and press the wig and you know do all kinds of curling and that's why I wear a wig because I really don't have that time to do that to my own hair on <laughs> the patients so um this wig uh it is normally in its natural state is because it's Cambodian so it's really really curly uh I was having problems using the flat iron um because the flat iron was making it look kind of um I don't know, just really plasticky. I, I don't know. The, some, no matter if I turn the the um, heat up, I turn it down. It just was not working. So I would like you all to first, please take note of um, the lovely part and uh, the nice uh, blending. So this is a full lace wig. In case you forgot, um, my hair is a bit thin, and the well, it's I have very fine hair, anyways. So. Um, but I, I didn't want to put any, um, uh, uh, edge cream or anything. I didn't want to put the edge cream on it, but this is what I, what I do use, the Amla Legends. Um, but I, I didn't want to put any on because I'm going to go to bed right after this video. Um, so I didn't, you know, really put anything down, but I just wanted to show you guys. So this wig, see the nice body... Uh, beautiful curls that are holding in it and it just looks really you know like if I just got um, a roller set or something right and I didn't use a curler I didn't use a flat iron I didn't use rollers I used an old but trusty friend well kind of old not that old but trusty <laughs> so I'd like to reintroduce you all to my little friend the in styler um, it has actually shut itself off because I had it sitting there for just a little bit but um, the end styler uh, this is a you know a larger barrel is actually really good it took me three minutes like I said I'm about to go to bed because I'm an old lady and I go to bed early uh, when I'm home by myself and um, it took me yeah it took me three minutes I uh, just one two three four like in big sections and I just Twirl it around and there you have it. Here, um, I'll do a section on this side for you. It's probably not hot enough because I just turned it back on. But I will do it just to show you guys. Uh, for those of you who aren't exact, exactly sure how to use the in styler. But um, I always swear by, or I always swore by using the in styler on wigs and weaves. Um, human hair, of course, because... It gives you a really nice shine. I didn't put any product or anything in it. Um, just whatever was in it after I washed it, like whatever conditioner I put in. And I I did give this wig a bleach bath a couple of days ago um, just because I was experimenting and I didn't want to use one of my newer wigs. Um, and it actually came out really good. So anyways, um, de depending on... And I'm going to talk loudly because the only problem with the installer is that it's loud. Duh. Hope you can hear me. Um, so you start it wherever you want the curl, you know, and you just twirl it around. If you watched my hand, you'll see what I was doing. And look at that. Nice big curl. Did you see that? Nice big curl. I'm letting it cool while I talk to you. <laughs> so that's why I haven't pulled it down yet. But, uh, <sighs> I don't know that that works, so don't sit around doing that because people are going to think you're crazy. I don't know if it works, but, you know, 
this is me we're talking about so hang on okay and then I just ooh. well would you look at that well look at look you know so voila there it is and if you just continue doing that let's do another one um for those who watch my videos you know that I'm obsessive compulsive I have all sorts of disorders None that I've actually um, gone to the doctor and been diagnosed for. But I'm pretty damn sure I'm bipolar and I have OCD and a whole bunch of compulsive disorders. So I can't just do something one time. And I often disagree with myself. So that may be schizophrenia. I don't know. But anyways. I don't want to be like the girl who burnt the hair out during the during the tutorial. Maybe the little girl. I'm sorry, little young lady, if you're watching. That was tragic. Did you do that on purpose? Because why would you? Uh, all right, whatever. I hope your hair grew back. That's all I have to say. Hope your hair grew back. Okay, so this is this. This is annoying the hell out of me. Where's my trusty toothbrush? Everybody has the trusty toothbrush. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just brush those down and I do have more of my hair out I have a really big forehead so I often put more baby hair than the average person because my forehead is just like I don't know it was like a curse I mean like everything else about me came out perfect but then I got this forehead um, my father used to tell me it meant that I was smarter than everyone else so we'll just go with that. Okay. So anyways, uh, this is it. Do you see that? See how shiny, see how nice and shiny and uh, how beautiful that is. So honey, ditch the curling iron, ditch the little rollers. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The wands and you got to roll it and then you still get a bend in your hair and you got to and you sit with it all day because you want your curls to stay in and it's time to go out. You got to use a flat iron or something to chase behind it anyway because now you got that freaking bend in there. Use your, use your in-styler. Works pretty good and comes in a whole bunch of different sizes. I actually have five of these. Why? I don't know. Because I think people just continue to give them to me as gifts because they know I like hair and I like shoes. Don't even let me get started on the shoe motif stuff that I get, like, all the time. I have a shoe wine opener, a shoe bottle stopper. I have pictures of shoes in my room that, like, in frames that people have. I don't want all this tacky stuff. You want to give me something associated with a shoe, give me a pair of shoes. I don't need a, a, a shoe doll. What am I going to do with a shoe pillow? What's wrong with people? Anyways, not that I'm not appreciative, but that's just my bipolar, schizophrenic, um, compulsive disorder coming out. So, anyways, um, I'm going to bed, and I hope you like this wig. I absolutely love the wig, but more so, I hope you like the, um, you know, the curls that I did. And I'm going to take this bad baby off, sit it on top of the wig head, and hopefully when I get up to go to work in the morning, it will look just like this. Uh, yeah, because I'm meeting my girls after work tomorrow for drinks. And um, it's always nice having drinks in Harlem. Anyways, um, talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.